The Pythagorean tablet comes from southern Babylonia and it was made sometime during the Old Babylonian period, which is around 1800 BC. The tablet is round and that's characteristic of school tablets. So the Pythagorean tablet isn't uh, a scholarly document, it's a school exercise. The exercise that was given here was to calculate the length of the hypotenuse. A number is given on one of the sides, 30, written in the sexagesimal system. Two numbers are written across the hypotenuse, an approximation of the square root of two, and another is an approximation of the inverse of the square root of two. Cuneiform tablets are made of clay. They were usually not fired in antiquity. They were just everyday documents that were written down and they didn't take any measures to conserve and preserve them for the future. This presents a challenge because they are fragile objects and using 3D printing and other technological tools can help us in making these objects available and accessible for teaching and display without compromising the fragile objects. With the cuneiform tablets, we see low relief geometry and small, small scale changes, which are difficult to capture with uh, standard photography. Uh, and just static light angles. So the ability to bounce light around and catch it in the surface morphology really helps researchers to uh, see the form of some of the characters inscribed in the surface. So next we uh, conducted triangulation laser scanning to capture dimensional geometry for the entire uh, cuneiform tablet. So I like to think of 3D models as integrated data platforms on which we can project all kinds of different information. We can project high resolution and scientific imagery. We can map traces that may only be visible uh, under powerful microscopes or uh, illuminated under certain radiation. And we're able to bring all this kind of data into one place. So this was an interesting project to work on and it was incredible to be able to transport the tablet from a condition where it was created in a classroom 4,000 years ago to a virtual model in 2016.